Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. As you may know by now, in the last episode we finally got off of the Star Planet of Tatooine and, es er, not Tatooine, uh, Taurus and escaped the Sith Blockade. We landed on a planet called Dantuin and... Uh, there is a sit. They feel that we will be safe here, safe here, because there is a sit. There is a uh, Jedi, Jedi Council. So the Sith would be kind of be crazy to attack this place with how many Jedi there are on this particular planet. Let's say uh, we have Bastila went and talked to the Jedi Council here on our behalf, and they request an audience with us. We should feel honored. Let's go talk to the Jedi Council. Hello, Jedi. Enjoy the time you have here on Dantooine. I think the Council might decide to move to a different world soon. Really? I wonder why that is. Okay, go ahead. Only if I get to ask you... Something in return. Let's go ahead. Shigatu <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea who you're talking about. Do you actually believe she's still alive? Is there a reward for this news? Are problems with the Mandalorians common on Dantooine? Isn't there something that the local authorities should handle? Is there anything of interest on Dantooine that you can tell me about? Isn't there something the local authority should handle? Is there anything of interest that you can tell me about, Danton? I'll keep an eye out for your girl. Okay, let's see if there's a protocol droid. Please don't disturb me. I have pressing matters at hand. Female Jedi, I guess. Uh, I already talked to you. I already talked to the protocol droid. Let's go down here and wait. What is this door over here? I doubt we can go through it yet. Or maybe we can. Okay, 
Kachikun Idahodonga, Ikinkuno Bamulera Chikun, Svimo Podonar, Deodunga Kun Kabe, Achuta, Unga Kun Bistulpi Kikumoyana, Dong Patugas Bakdelea. I'd like to see what you have for sale. What do you have against Zerka Corporation? Kipuna! Kamatumpa ku pailea muka pata! Jiyoka ku tumpa ku pailea! Ronda di hotonga kun honka mi! Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotak! Tup ning chatu kunde mule rabes! Kachikun ida hodonga! Yikin kuno ba mule rachikun! Svimo podonar di hotonga ku honka be! Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo! Tong na bungsha nununya! Tong patukas mak talea! Worse? How has it gotten worse? Mucha shak pa khat! Kiye no no na ma pao le rachikun! Ronda di hotonga kun honka be! Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotak? Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes! Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo! Tong na bungsha nununya! Tong patukas mak talea! Kachikun ita hodonga! Iking kuno ba mule rachikun! Svimo po donar di hodonga ku hunkabe! Achuta! Unga kun bistulpi kikumoyana, tong patugas bakdelea. Let's ask him about uh, the Zark Corporation allying with the Sith. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotak? Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo? Tong na bung sha nununya? Tong patukas mak talea? Ka chi kun ita hodonga? Iking kuno ba mule rachi kun? Svimo po donar di hodonga ku hunkabe? Achuta! Let's see what he's got for sale. Let's see what he Let's see, uh, let's go to sell list. Let's see, what do we got that we don't need? We don't need, uh, the clothing because we're never gonna wear it again. Davix war suit. Let's sell the combat suit. Have the combat armor, military suit. Ion repeater. Porto's repeating blaster. Let's talk to uh, this guy over here. Okay. Kin kin ko no ba muli rachi kun. Tongai ton kunjin ni bobo ji mata ni puna je dolpi kik nyunyan haku je kopa ji no muli rakin pajak slimo poido ana. Let me see what you have in stock. I think I'll be going now. How much gold do I even have right now? Let's go over to inventory. 700 and almost 800. Let's go down here to the Jedi Council. We'll been eager to talk to them. I wanted to talk to those guys first. Let's 
Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek? Tug ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chi kun ita hodonga. Ye king kun o ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po donar de hodonga kun kabe. I came here with Bastila. Tong abu sha umina. Wanga kun bez king palemura. Johnny Yon Tun Chichi, that one. Cavabol Pamuji Kumana. She didn't save me. We worked together to escape Taurus. Runda di Hotunga Kun Hunkami. Wanda Kun Bez Ching Palamule Tung King Ba Nunotek. Tuk Ning Chatu Kun de Mulerabes. Achuta. Wunga Kun Bez Tulpi Kikuyana. Okay. Oh, if you guys were looking to pick up um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 on GOG.com, you should know that it's no longer on sale, so... You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Are you a Jedi? I believe you're mistaken. I am not a Padawan. I am Valerith. I came here with Bastila. My name is Belaya. I have come here to further my learning in the ways of the Force. Many Jedi come here to train under Master Jha. Any who belong to the Order should surely know this. You must be neglecting your studies, Padawan. I believe you are mistaken. I am not a Padawan. I am Valerith. I came here with Bastila. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling you the truth. I didn't come here to be scolded by you. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Okay. Let's go find the Jedi Council. Hey, dude. Jedi droid. Enclave exit. We're not allowed to go out there yet. We already talked to you. We don't need to talk to you again. Yeah, they, they uh, the, the sale ended and the price went back up. So if you were looking to get it for a cheap and very very good price, sadly that's over. Sorry that if you are disappointed, but what can you do? Training room, I doubt we can get in there yet. Maybe we can. Yes. We can get in there. I want to go explore the other hallway because this is the enclave. I want to see what's over here first. I love the art in this game. It, it looks very, very Star Wars, but it's also very, very pretty. I love it. I don't have a deck. Not right now. So he exists for one reason and one reason only. To play Pazak against. Let's check his footlocker. Could always use those. I 
I guess I can only talk to him. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. What an ass. Oh well, we got uh, that guy's stuff, so can't get anything from here. Let's go talk to the council. They're waiting for us. Oh, I reached, uh, I finally reached 100 subscribers. Actually, I've surpassed it by a few. So, um, the other day I reached 100. I was at 99 for a while. Let's talk to Karth. They're waiting for you inside. Okay. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. What do you want from me? So you've drawn me into this little trap, Bastila? Now what? Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. What do you want from me? I've got some questions for all of you. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Nothing would give me greater honor than learning the ways of the Jedi. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Strong in the Force? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? I'm willing to try my best. I am ready to accept training, and my age has nothing to do with it. Of course, great Jedi, I will learn your ways and follow the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully, in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk?
This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Did she say anything else? I had a rough night. Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? I had a rough night. Let's go. You got it. Let's see, uh... Candorous? Uh... Uh, let's go Candorous and let's go to the equipment screen. Plus three, max dexterity. Let's equip that. Let's see if we got any better equipment for these guys. Light battle armor plus seven. Six, that's uh... Let's equip her with that. Awareness plus two. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk to her. Speak to Mission. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's... It's, it's just gone. I figured she would want to talk. Malik will pay for what he did, Mission. I'm sorry, I didn't... I don't know what to say. Taurus was a wasteland. Get over it. Yeah, I know. The Jedi got rid of Revan, so... I figure Malik's days are number two. But that doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. All right, let's go. Jedi Council wants to see me. Looking good in Davik's armor, huh? Davik's dead. Let's go talk to the Jedi Council. But yeah, I reached 100 subscribers, and I'm really excited about that, and it's awesome. Thank you all so much. I'm at 103 right now, so it's slowly growing. of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Yes, they seem to be searching for something. I don't know what you're talking about. What? How would Basila know if she shared the dream? She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now? I trust in your greater wisdom. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, 
We cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Yes, I'm ready for whatever awaits me. I will try my best. Of course, Masters, I seek to follow the light. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Jedi are turning to the dark side? How can this be stopped? The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I'm ready now. I accept this mission. I don't know if I want to do this. It sounds dangerous. Of course, Masters. Anything to further the light. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We don't have time for this, as you wish, Master Vandar. I surrender myself to the will of the Council. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. Have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. What must I do to prove myself? I want to ask some questions, Master Zar. Questions about Revan and Malik. Few mention names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceived the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. 
One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. What happened? The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat the Council feared had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed. Many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from a Mandalorian threat. They disobeyed the Jedi Council. What happened to, the, to this noble mission? They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. But something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted. Their spirits were tainted. And they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this. A lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. I heed this lesson, Master Zar. Yeah, yeah, get on with it. You have learned much. Yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. I've received items lost. Let's see ya. Uh... What did we get? Pizak side deck. When the hell did I pick that up? Vibro sword. Scary spike. Oh well, I'm going to call it here. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye. <laughs>